Good morning! Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh my god, that's a global emote. Wait, what? Hey! going on dude thank you guys for tuning into the stream good morning good afternoon good evening it is wednesday the middle of the week we're halfway there boys we're halfway there uh how's everybody doing hopefully you're all doing well thank you so much for tuning into the stream mk80 whoa jeez 80 streams mk i have an 80 stream streak to share with you oh you can tell a bunch of can i tell a bunch of 80 girls just shut up well I would happily do that if it was me that could hear them. Yeah, that uh, that would that would be absolutely fine by me. As I've got older, the big age of twenty-five, the thing I now appreciate more than ever is silence. Silence is good. Silence is good. Uh, peace and quiet. <laughs> I don't know if that's making me some old grumpy fart, but I love peace and quiet, man. It's so good. So good. So Wednesday night and they're having a party. I mean, I, don't know, I mean, well, I don't know what time it is for you, but... If there's excessive noise going beyond, like, half eleven sort of time. Then I think you have every right to complain. Oh, it's half nine. Mm. I mean, even so, I guess it is inconsiderate. Some people get up at like fucking half five, six that go to bed at that time, so. Yeah, it's not the most considerate of things. Not the most considerate of things. Um, I never thought Valentine's Day should be on hump day. Had a weird sense of humor. Wait, is it always on a Wednesday? No, it must change. It's not always on a Wednesday, is it? Wait a second. Wait a second. No, it's just this year. It's just this year. I was going to say. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, it does change every year. I was going to say, I question, yeah, I question basic fucking time periods. Not always on a Wednesday. We got it now. We got it. Morning, PBD. How are you, mate? Built your own PC the other day. Uh, and now you've got a working PC. Wait, nice event. Happy days. Happy days. Matt! Morning, Matt. I was about to be confused, and then I was like, no, that makes sense. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Morning, Matt. How are you? Um, right, the news. Welcome back to another show. The news. Um, there's not really any news to talk about. Um, other than Matt, Matt's appearance alone has now made me excited for insomnia, and I'm pissed off. Great. Thanks, Matt. Ah, I want to be insomnia. God damn it. Um, I don't know, by the way, if Slow told you the other day. Um, he's definitely not coming, so. It's just the two of us. Happy phrase! 39 months. Did I miss anything, Jeremy? No, I didn't. Good morning. Happy phrase. Good morning to you, pal. Thank you for the 39 months. You get to choose a block or the sub floor. Please choose. I know, he called me about something else, um, about Friday, I'll say Friday, I can get away with that. He called me about Friday, uh, and then he also said he wasn't going to go to something. Amy, 73, welcome back. Yeah, you got it yesterday, um, Amy Kill. Thank you for the 73, Amy, you got to pick a block for the floor. Amy, don't worry about it. You'll know what I mean. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> no, it is actually fine. It's fine. Um, 
Must have got after after I nap, nap to bed. Um, yeah, I noticed it yesterday. The orange on orange. Looks very, looks very, very nice. Very nice. I'll have a look after stream, baby. It's genuinely not. It's fine. Like, it's literally fine. Um, I'm very excited for Insomnia, man. I, I genuinely, I was thinking about it yesterday. I was like, holy fucking shit. I have a lot going on between now and then, but I'm so gassed for Insomnia, man. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh... We're good. Uh, anyway, right. Uh, there's not really any other news other than today. We go for 72. M kill starts us off. We go for 72 streams in a row. Since it is V-Day, a diamond block, please, and beside the amethyst block of mine. We can do that, M kill. We can do that. Do you know what really pisses me off about Valentine's Day? Even as somebody that's happily with somebody right now. I hate that everybody feels the need to post it all over social media. Like, nobody cares. <laughs> I know there's a harsh reality of it. Nobody gives a fuck. There are single people that won't want to see that shit. Nobody gives a bollocks. We get you happy. If you weren't happy, you wouldn't be in a relationship. It honestly is stupid. It gets right on my tits. Like, just be happy. Nobody cares. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fucking Scrooge. Does my head in, to be honest with you. Um, never wrong with that, Matt. I had the single life. I, I, I was more than happy in the single life. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You don't celebrate it? No, I don't either, Menace. I, the, the, I'll tell you why Valentine's Day is bullshit. Truck47, welcome back, mate. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, pal. Valentine's Day is a day of loving and appreciating your partner, right? But I do that every day. Right, I do it every day, not on just one specific day. And on that one specific day, they would expect it, which makes it less valuable than when you just do a random act of love out of the blue, like buying flowers or something like that. And then you go to like a restaurant, for example, today. It's Valentine's Day. You go to a restaurant, you're surrounded by people who are trying to prove to everybody that they love their partner. Then and you can just look around and just be like, yeah, you're not happy, you're not happy. It's, it's so forced, it's unbelievable. And that's why Valentine's Day is bullshit. I, Amy, I made pasta and meatballs the other day. I did garlic bread, pasta, meatballs, and this, like, tomato sauce. It was, ah, it was, for a first attempt, it was actually pretty good. Um, my presentation wasn't great. It was sort of, I kind of did it in the wrong order. I did pasta, meatballs, sauce. I should have done pasta, sauce, meatballs. But, I got an 8 out of 10. I got, for, for taste and flavor, I got an 8 out of 10. So I was pretty gassed about that. Um, the only good thing about Valentine's Day is I get cheap, amazing flowers for months birthday tomorrow. Well, there you go. There's a bit of it. So anyway, yes, if you are in a relationship, don't post your relationship on your story or whatever, because nobody gives a shit. Just enjoy your life and be happy. Um, anyway. Anyway. No, they weren't nasty frozen meatballs. They were actually boom. They were actually boom. I've never made it before. I was, I was the first time I've ever made it, and I got an 8 out of 10. I was quite gassed about that. Um... Thank you so much for the 500 bits, Debrutzid. Appreciate that, mate. I think I was in the middle of talking about that came through. Thank you, pal. Um, Debrutzid, I need a block from you. Drock, I need a block from you. Amy, I need a block from you. And Happy Phrase, I need a block from you for the sub floor. So please let us know what you'd like. Uh, we are going for 72 streams today as we thunder towards 75. If we do hit 100 on the streak, uh, we are going to do something a little bit special, whether that be a marathon stream or some sort of viewer interaction stream in hardcore or something like that. Uh, we are going to do something special if we hit 100. That's a big if, but if we hit it, we're going to do it. Um, and we're already a fifth of the way there to getting our, our 72 on that. Already a fifth of the way. Um, steak and chips tonight. Very simple. Very beautiful. My ex-wife's birthday is Valentine's Day. The pressure was too much. <laughs> well, based on that, Matt, forever alone is not a bad way to go. Not a bad way. If that's your option, there or forever alone. I think you've got the right. I think you've got the right end of the stick. Um, you can't have a magma block, unfortunately, but it. it can't slow me down or damage me in any way. So you gotta come up with something else, I'm afraid. Uh, right, let's. Oh, we gotta do hellos. Hang on, I need to get these blocks before I forget. And I'm gonna do some hellos. 
Benny, 14 months. Thank you so much, mate. Welcome back. Right, hold on. Don't worry. We are going to uh, do shit here. Just give me two seconds to grab this block. Amy Kill wanted a diamond block. Amy wanted anything cyan. Uh, cyan terracotta. And then, Benny, I need you to choose a block for the subfloor, mate. It has to be a full block. It can't damage me or slow me down anyway. And it has to be relatively easy to get because we're still quite early game. Um, the Bratz, you just choose another one as well. Amy, we've done. Uh, and then, happy phrase if you'd like one. An emerald block. We can do that. I have emeralds on me. That can be done. Uh, can someone advise me? I need a book of mending. I just got night time. I need a book of mending. Um, but there's no swamp village in my world. Also, oh, you're playing bedrock. I'm, <laughs> I don't know, mate. To be honest, I've, I've not had any ex experience with that yet. Happy phrase wants anything orange. Anything orange. I might have an orange terracotta lying around. So, oh, look at that. Cut sandstone. That'll do. Uh, is that everybody? And then Benny's a plain old block of sand. We got you, mate. We got you. And sand. Right. Enkel wanted her diamond bot near Amethyst. There you go. You've completed a star now. Dun, 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 dun. Fantastic. Um, well, we've got a load of emerald over here. We'll plop this one here. There's the emerald block. Cyan, we can put here. There you go, Amy. Enjoy. Uh, red sandstone there. Why not? And the sand. Oops. Plop it there. Why not? One more. <laughs> Another note block, please. Tell us that wants a note block. We got you, mate. We got you. Let's get you another note block. Oh, I would have got a double emote then. I would have got a double emote. Oh, Matt. Is he here? Matt. Matt. Very important question. Boom. Yes, he is here. Matt, what did you think of the light? That came in the uh, in the Twitch package. Isn't it perfect? It literally couldn't be any more perfect. I don't know if you've opened it yet and had a look. Right, chat. Let's do some hellos now. We're caught up with blocks. If you're out there, you're not lurking in the darkness. Please say hello in the chat. I say hello back. Which we'll grab onto the stream. Let's do some hellos, boys. Oh, can you control it through the app? I actually didn't know that. Um, are you giving the self? We are going to give away a few things, yeah. I mean, I don't need it, so. Ugh. So, whoops. So, I think we're going to give this away. We've got the uh, the LED pixel art frame right here. I think we're going to give that away. Uh and we got the HyperX Quadcast microphone. I have no use for this. This is a good microphone, but I have no use for it. Um, it would be better off with somebody that actually would use it. So I think we're going to give this away as well. Um, yeah. I think we're going to give this away as well. Because it's just, it's no use to me. So there's no point in me just chucking it in a cupboard and leaving it. Um, your mum loves the new mic. I'm sure she's very, very happy with it. Unless a friend of mine comes along in the next week or whatever, I do eventually get around to giving them away. And says I desperately need a microphone, we'll give it away. In which case, <laughs> I have multiple anyway. I've got loads of fucking microphones lying around. But that was brand new, so I'd like to give it away. Um, but yeah. We'll sort it at some point. Um, maybe we'll do it if we hit 100 streaks. Maybe. Nikolai, 58, nearly five years. I'm live. Button heart, button heart. Thank you so much, mate. Nikolai, you need to choose a block for the floor. 
Thank you for the resub, pal. Please choose a bot for the sub floor. I still haven't done the hellos. There's so much going on. Munchie, 34. <laughs> Beautiful month, tier three, daddy of mine. I appreciate it. Hello. It's been a while. It has. I hate time zone right now, and it's currently 1.44 oh. a.m. right now. I hope you are doing well. I awesome. am doing well, Munchie. Thank you. To be honest with you, I'm having to look after puppies stuff most mornings. And looking after puppies is a lot harder than I remember it being when I first had Rock Up. So, it takes up a lot of time. And the stream has been a little bit delayed starts for the past few weeks. Maybe even past month or so because of that. So, uh, it probably doesn't help that I would start a little bit later. But Munchie, it's so lovely to see you. That will die down as he is able to stay on his own and stuff like that. Um, thank you so much for the tier 3, though. You get to choose five blocks to use in the subfloor, Munchie. Uh, five blocks of your choice. They have to be a full block. Uh, they can't hurt me or slow me down in any way. Uh, and they must be relatively easy to get because we are a uh, very early game. Um, what's that about giveaways? So we did the, the Twitch hype train challenge back in December. And we finally got all the stuff sent over. Um, and there's a couple things in it that we won that I just don't need. Um, this microphone being one of them. Um, so I think we're going to give it away because there's no point in it just sitting around collecting dust. So I think we're going to give it away. Um, yeah. I, I need to look into the, the rules of that shit nowadays. Because there used to be uh, issues with like international shipping and customs and shit. I've got I've to look into that. Um, what happened to the other one? We lost season two, Nick and I. We lost season two. Uh, it was a terrible death as well. You can see the clip right there. Um, Egg roulettes. Here we go. Still got 10,000 views, that new lord. Right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Everybody stop. Nick, I, Munchie, I need you guys to choose some blocks for the floor. And then we're going to do some hellos. So <laughs> we'll try again for the third time lucky. If you're out there and you're not lurking in the darkness, please say hello to the chat right now. I should say hello back. We should welcome everyone to the stream. Third time lucky. Good morning. Kanga, Aronic, MQ, how are you? Pixel and Dad, Debrazzi, Chrissy, Kev, Mrs. The Dart One, Brock, good to see you. Menace, how are you? MCZ, B Nasty, good morning, Big Dog J. Sweetie's in the house, good morning. Noisy, Plasma, how are you? Woodsy, how are you? Callum, Glenn, Danielino, good to see you. Nikolaj in the house, Bish, good to see you. Missy, Reese, Wild Slicer, Aussie's Girl, Gunderson, Snat, how are you guys? Mr. Captain Lee, good to see you, pal. Hang on, you should have a drink. Tonsatch, good morning. Munchie's in the house, thank you again for the tier three. Lovely to see you, madam. Uh, Big Dog J, you're not getting two. Zakona, how are you? Liam, good to see you. Not now. And Scallion, how are you guys? Thank you for being here. If I did miss you and all you're liking in the darkness, thank you for being here. Welcome. Rob, good to see you, pal. Uh, we're already at 1,500 on the goal, which is pog. So thank you very much, guys. Right. First things first. Everything settles. Hi, Harry. Hi, Blue Knight. How are you guys? You can have cherry blossom leaves. Would you like all five? We, we can do that. Uh, let's head up. A ba Is a barrel a full block? May I have a barrel in the floor with a single raw fish in it? Less than three. I don't think I have a fish. Um, no, I don't. A barrel can be arranged. Is this a full block? It is. Fair enough. Go fishing. I'm not allowed to go out of my way to get blocks. I'm not allowed to do it. I wish I could, but I can't. Yeah, many on the gears the first thing. Munchie with the 400 biddies. Thank you so much. We're almost nearly halfway on the bit goal of the stream already. And there it is. Charlie with the 200 barrel. There it is. Lovely barrel. All five, we got you. Hey, Button. Today I got to visit the tallest library in the world. Didn't look that big from the outside, but inside it had thousands of stories. I, I really hate that I like that. I hate that I like that. Oh, wait. I don't actually have to make a fishing rod. I just realized I could just kill a fish. Wait. Johnny, thank you for the tournament. I, I sort of enjoyed that, mate. I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you an eight. Just a solid eight. I, I, I enjoyed it, yeah. It was, it was great. 
Thank you, ma'am. Right, I need a fish, which I'll grab. Oh, there's one up here. Fish! Nailed it. Nailed it. Right, I need five cherry leaves for Munchie, and then... I believe we're all caught up. Are we all caught up? Pixelated we got... Yeah? We're all caught up? Fantastic. Uh, the round of blocks on the ground are for the sub floor. Uh, I stupidly allowed chat to choose the blocks for the floor. Silly idea. Silly idea, but there you go. Here we are. Button, you have a literal elytra, you knob. Why don't you just fly? Well, it's too late now. I'm here, but... All right. There's five. I'll, I'll elytra off here. I keep forgetting I've got it. That's the problem. Uh, right, let's get him in the floor. Well, we've got the books anyway to put on it. We're going to do that in just a second once we've, once we've caught up the floor. Uh, fish in a barrel, pixelated. There you go, mate. All done. Uh, as for the cherry leaves, let's get them down. So we've got uh, one, it's... two, one over here, one up, three, four. There you go, Munchie. Thank you so much for your support. Um, at 100 bits, saying, uh, I just wanted to say uh, that now I'm back in the States, there's a chance I won't be able to keep a tier 3 subs up for a while due to job, uh, job issues. Oh, Munchie, that is totally okay. I, I, I absolutely appreciate all the stuff you've done for this show. You've been super, super kind over the years. And uh, that is completely understandable. I hope, uh, I'm, I'm, pr I'm happy for you all back with your, uh, your move and everything like that. And I hope that uh, you get settled and back to normality. As quickly as possible. The hard part is done. Now we've got to win it. You forget when you have it. And you forget when you don't. While chasing an egg. No, I, I flew. People. I don't know why people think this. I literally fly. You can hear me press space in the clip. If you listen carefully. I literally bitch up. If you put it in 0.25. And look at the hill in the background. You can see I start to fly. And then I fall like a stone. And when I hit the ground, I'm flying again. Which is why I zoom across the ground. Right. We have these books to put on the Elytras. The problem is, I don't want to use the anvil while I have 73 levels. Because that is a huge waste. I think so too, Donald. Slow you while, Munchie. Lovely to see you. Thank you again for all the love. You are amazing. Look after yourself. Look after yourself. Uh, I was going to do a helmet because I needed that. Oh, let's just fucking cycle some of this shit. No, I wasn't. I, I, I mean that. Yeah, I mean yes. That's how I died. Negative pitch, full damage. But the initial glide didn't work in the first place. Whether that be lag or whatever, I don't know. But respiration three. Actually, that's kind of pog. Ooh, that might do it. You know. I'd like uh, everybody in the chat just to pause what they're doing and uh, take a look at the. Uh Take 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 a little look at the uh, the XP bar down there. Take a little look at the XP bar. Follow it up with a uh, a button creep if you're a sub. Follow it up with a button creep. Um, what else is there to enchant? I mean, that is basically as good as it gets. <laughs> That's basically as good as it gets. I don't know if there is anything missy on that. Tons out. Thank you for the sixty nine, man. Appreciate it. Uh, protection. I mean, depth strider boots, maybe? Can you actually enchant an Elytra outright? No. I mean, we're missing mending on it. We'll have to go get more books of that. I just feel like it's a waste of 69. What about tools? That's pretty good. 
That's pretty good. The bow, maybe we could get flame or something? Pickaxes are basically as good as they get. Like, we could just use it to combine stuff, but I just feel like I'd rather not. Um... Can we... Ooh, punch one as well. I forget about punch. Uh... I don't think there's anything else to enchant. <laughs> Just rename everything. I mean, there's not a lot else to do. Yeah, that's kind of gorgeous. That's kind of gorgeous. There's really not much else to, to do. Uh, Swift Sneak, maybe? Ah, oh, fuck it. Who cares? Make a fire. I mean, I'm never going to use a fire or blast protection set. I think we just say sod it and start combining shit. And just see what happens. Uh... Like, realistically, who cares, right? It's not like we're not going to have 60 levels of XP and he's not, you know, ever again. Another sword, actually, probably would have been a good idea. Shit, this was a mistake. Five bucks to name it, whatever you like. Ah! Oh, it's just giving me everything I want. Cheers. Um, I think that's all good, isn't it? Yeah. All right, well, let's bang these on then. Uh, I'm breaking, I'm breaking, mending, mending. Oh, yes. Yeah, that sword is uh, just looting three. It was one of our initial ones. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that again. Gold ore is your block? Oh, well, I have it on me, so there you go. Let's get it in, Nikolai. Let's get it in. We do use villagers. Yeah, of course we do. Um, we just haven't got anything crazy set up for them, so we're doing it the old-fashioned way. Boom! There you are, mate. There you are. We're doing it the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's zoom over. I kind of need... Oh, fuck, man. I kind of need mending on everything now, don't I? That's kind of where we're at, I think. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, let's go over to the mob farm real quick. I've still got to get these bridges. I have so much to do, man. We need to do a 24-hour stream. Chat, 24-hour stream starts right now. Flame's not so bad. Fire aspect is bad. I don't like fire aspect, but flame's okay. No take back. Done. Two to four hour stream. Coming up. We'll get a little bit more XP in this and then we'll uh we'll shoot over. Then we'll shoot over. Ooh, look at that cave. Have we found that yet? I don't know if we've even looked at that. Oh, no, I think we have. Oh, look at the lava lake. It's a little love heart. Fucking Valentine's Day. Rotate your head and it's, then it's a ball sack. Makes it feel better. See you later, noisy. Have fun. Hey! Okay, reminds me of your ex-girlfriends. Well... Based on that assessment, it sounds like you got out of dodge at the right time, pal. Yeah. 
through there. Okay. This Elytra is going to be a bit of a game changer, I must admit. We're actually getting gunpowder for this as well, which is good. There'll be more fireworks when Future Button needs them. You can do four six-hour streams at focusing on a new task each day. And it still won't be done while I want to do that. But I need to remember, this is a long-term world. There is no rush. There's no reason to go quickly. There is literally zero reason to move quickly. Really craving noodles? I could smash a chicken chow made right now, to be fair. But I'm trying to lower my carbohydrate intake and increase meat consumption to help burn body fat. So yesterday for lunch, all I had was a, cu a cooked chicken breast that I cut up, dipped in a small amount of mayonnaise, and that was it. And that was my lunch. A micro iron farm, uh, a base might be handy. Um, no, I don't need you. Sorry, mate. I need mending. Sounds very dull. It is. Has to be done, though. Is it working? Lots of meat, no carbs. Well, I've only tried one lunch of it. <laughs> Go over that ketosis. Well, the idea is just to stop my body burning or stop having uh, high sugar foods and focus just on the protein that makes your body burns body fats rather than sugars and carbohydrates and stuff like that. Like bread is like the worst thing you can eat and I love bread and it pisses me off. Do I get paid tomorrow? Yes! Hey, I do. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Smiles in the chat. I didn't even realize what day it was. It's payday tomorrow, boys. Welcome to the chat of payday. Paid from who? Um, the cartel for my international drug dealing organization that I operate. Fuck, I don't have any emeralds. No, obviously Twitch, you donut. Obviously Twitch. Twitch pay on the 15th of every single month. And I can't wait to be paid. Woo! Feels good. In fact, I might have been paid already. Sometimes they pay you early. In fact, more often than not, they pay you on the 14th instead of the 15th. Let's have a look. No, I've not been paid yet. Not yet. Only if 15th is on a weekend. Wait, you only get paid on the 14th if the 15th is on a weekend? Well, I got paid on the 14th last month. That was a Sunday. Um, yeah, I need um, emeralds. I've never really paid attention as to why they pay on the 14th. I've been, I've been paid on the 12th before. I've been paid on the 12th before. That was exciting. Until you realise in three days' time when all that money's basically gone on bills and everything like that, that you should have been getting paid on that day and now you've got a whole month to go. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. It's, it's, honestly, it's at random times. It'll be at like 10 past 7 in the evening sometimes. That big old street bringing in uh, the dollar on its own. Whoop! Well, it brings in enough to pay the bills and have a little bit left over at the end of it, which is good. That's why it's set at 5,000. Um, I mean, you, you can do the math if you want. 71 streams since November. Doesn't work out as some sort of crazy, crazy income. Um... 
51 emeralds. Is that... How many was it? 12 per book. And I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight. Oh, God, I need loads. Okay. Thirty lots of fifty dollars this month. Can't sniff at that. Well, I don't stream thirty times in a month. I take two days off a week. But no, it works. It works out well. I'm very, very grateful. The majority of uh, uh, the majority of my income anyway comes from bits. That is like subs make up the the, uh, the other part of it. I'd say I don't know if I had to put a fraction on it. I'd say. Probably three quarters of it is bits. Uh, three quarters of it is bits and generosity for chat. The other quarter is subs, and then like the tiny bit of that quarter is is ad revenue that is basically irrelevant. We don't run ads here, so ad revenue is essentially zero. Um, I want to combine these, but I can't. Can I? You fucker. Right, let's go and uh, let's go get clay. So we need some iron rods. No, it is absolutely better than kick up backside. No, I'm incredibly grateful to be in the position I've been. Do you qualify for any bounty type things? Yeah, I keep forgetting about that, Kang. I do keep forgetting about that. Any bounty type things? What, is it like the Twitch bounty program that they operate? We haven't done one of those in a long time. They, they went through a phase where there were some crazy, crazy, crazy deals on there. I remember this. There was one trailer that popped up. It must be a couple years ago now. Probably two or three years ago. You had to watch it. I think it was during COVID. Yeah, all you had to do is watch a two-minute trailer. And in that two minutes, they were paying as much as I'd make in like a day. Like in a whole day's eight-hour stream that we were doing back then. A whole eight-hour stream. I would get paid roughly what I would for that whole eight-hour stream in two minutes. It was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. And I remember Matt Meshman, he was like, Button, check out this trailer, what it's <laughs> the, the payment for it. And I was like, ah, oh, well, it can't be that good. I was like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I've never seen one. I don't even think I've seen one a tenth of what that was paying. It was crazy. I don't know why the money was so nuts for it. Well, that was that was insane. I wouldn't mind one of those. What, what a week would be nice. But there's no way they made their money back from me uh, playing that trainer for two minutes. No, not a chance. I think we're wrong. I'll take it. Thank you very much. But I can't even remember what it was for. <laughs> Couldn't even tell you. <laughs> Um, but other than that, the Twitch, the Twitch bounty stuff is, other than that one that was like crazy, the Twitch bounty stuff is pretty, pretty crap. It is pretty crap. Uh, there's not really a lot of point in doing it. And, and the, the main reason for that as well, and, and this is only really for like me and other streamers that play just Minecraft, is, uh... Obviously, the majority of our viewership is in Minecraft. So if I play anything else, the viewers immediately like half, right? So when they uh, when they come to you and say, "Hey, we'll pay you X amount to to watch this," there is a clause, and it says if you have an average of this many viewers, which it's just not going to happen. So you basically have to take the money they're offering you and half it straight away, and it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Was it Final Fantasy? I, I don't know what it was. I, I can't actually tell you. It'll be on here somewhere. Um, I don't even know what it's under anymore. Ah, here we go. Bounty board. It was in 2021. Final Fantasy. Yeah, it was a Final Fantasy. XIV, whatever that number is. Final Fantasy 14, I think it was. Put it this way. Since Twitch bounties came out, whenever that was, 
I've done two. I did one in 2019 and one in 2021. I've only ever done two. And the other one was uh, Ghost Recon, which actually was a really fun game. I enjoyed that. That was a really fun game. I think me and Matt played that, actually. I'm pretty sure me and Matt played that. Well, the other thing as well with the bounty board is bounties don't come up very often. Like, you might get one every couple of weeks. And most of the time, it's crap. It'd be like, we'll pay you $10 to play a game for three hours. And I'm like, mm, nah. No way. So, I'm a new security camera for the cars. Um... I fucked, I fucked up and set the recording too high. 788 gigs overnight. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. That's, uh, that's rather a lot. Fucking hell, what were you recording in? 8K? <laughs> 8K? Forty forty p twenty. Potato frame rate. <laughs> Potato frame rate. Wow, Tom, rude. Get him out of here, mods. Get him out of here. I only have Mendy on my Elytras and they're done, so. Why are you so expensive? Bastard. Are we gonna get. Oh, I can't even see. That was mean, Tom. Hi, Kaz. How are you? How are you? Uh, that is probably enough emeralds, isn't it? I mean, realistically, that's five, ten. That's ten books, and I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna have one left over. Ew! Spilled a bit of water on my arm. And... Oh! Big news! Chat, I have some big news. This is big news that probably nobody cares about. I suffered my first serious injury at the gym yesterday. My first serious injury at the gym. Yep. And it wasn't to any gym equipment. The thing that caused the injury was my gym bag. As soon as I, I don't, I don't even know how it happened. I did my gym session, which was about an hour and 45 minutes. I then went in the uh, in the hot tub and the sauna afterwards, as I do most times. To, uh, you know, for muscle recovery and everything like that. Went there. Went to the showers, showers, got dressed. Went to get, uh, pick up my bag to leave. Picked up my bag and left. And everything was fine up until I picked up my bag. I picked up my bag. I left. I was driving along. And I don't know, I must have had like a tingle in my thumb. And I went like that. And I tasted blood. I was like, what? And anyway, I got to the pharmacy. Because I had to go buy some inhalers. And, uh, yeah. A major injury has been caused. Look at that. Is it going to focus? Probably not. Focus. A major injury has been caused by my gym bag. The camera's not going to focus. 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 Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Come on. You can sort of see it on there. And it cut all down the uh, the side of me. 
Split me in half. And there's no explanation other than my gym bag when I picked it up. Because it was fine up until that point. And it's my first gym injury. You buy inhalers? Yeah. Of course I have to pay for my prescriptions. I don't know what would happen if I said I don't. I don't know what would happen. Am I off tomorrow? No. Tomorrow is an optional day off, but I, um, I will be live tomorrow. I will be live tomorrow because I'm not here on Sunday. Uh, that's not a bad injury. It, is, it was. It looked fairly significant, the amount of blood that was coming out of it. And it is literally a paper cut that's come probably from the strap of my back. Um, I might take the day off to recover my injury. That's true. I might have to do that. How much are they? Like nine pounds or something for an inhaler, something like that. But they fucked up and they gave me double, but only charged me. Uh, it should have been forty quid for four, uh, like thirty-nine pounds for four, um, and they only charged me twenty. So I was like, yeah, boot. Cheers for that. See you later. That was a win. See you later, alligator. Although they're trying to get me to go to these fucking powder inhalers or something now, which sound awful. This is a normal regular inhaler, as everybody knows. I have quite bad asthma, so I carry this everywhere I go. And, uh... When I last went in for an asthma checkup, they were like, Oh, by the way, these are apparently not very environmentally friendly. So we're now doing these new powdered ones. I was like, and they were like, would you like to switch over? I was like, absolutely not. No, I'm good. I'll stay on these. It's fine. I'm sure the guy driving past right now in his Nissan GTR is causing more environmental damage than my inhaler. So I'll take my inhaler. Thank you. <laughs> Even in fact, I don't know, but I'm sure the, uh, the Ford Fiesta that's just driven past outside is emitting more environmental damage than me having an inhaler. No, I'm, Matt, I'm not saying a word. I'm not going to have enough here. What the f Button, are you moronic? Nobody answered that question. Oh, no, I just talk about the environment with inhalers. The six largest container ships in the world emit more emissions in a day than the entirety of the cars on the road in the UK do for a year. But my inhaler needs to go to powder because it's bad for the environment. Absolute waffle. Absolute twaddle. Um... I am responsible single-handedly for climate change. It's the only it's it's the only explanation. Should have told him what's also bad button. Not using your Twitch Prime. That is very true. That is a very 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 true. Thank you, Holes, for bringing light to this situation. We are one sub away from 700 subs, so if you are out there, you're sat on a Twitch Prime and you're not using it, make sure it is used immediately because you are wasting 16.666 recurring cents, which actually this month is more so because it's only 29 days in this month. So it's actually bought like 17.666 recurring cents, which is a terrible waste, even more of a waste. So ensure your Prime subs used. I am destroying the world one breath at a time. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Wow. Oh no. Uh, Smeedy, gifted us up to Lars. Thank you so much, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Please choose a block for the sub ball.
I don't know, they said it was some powdered version of it. And I'm like, I don't want that. No, just, I'll, I'll stick with what I got because it works. It's fine. Can I choose for you? Of course. Um, what can we have that's a little bit adventurous that I don't think anybody has yet? Ooh, a bamboo plank. That looks good. That looks good. Evil thing, don't do it. Apparently they're new. I don't know if they were different back then or what, but apparently they're new. Boom! There you are, mate. Bamboo plank. Thank you very much for the uh, for the support. The sub floor is coming along nicely here, slowly but surely coming along. I still got a ways to go, but we are getting there. Well, that's sort of what I thought as well, but why would I want a powder one? I'm having an asthma attack. The last thing I need is to breathe in powder. When was the last time I had an asthma attack? A long time ago. A very, it was, uh, yeah, a long, long time ago. However, a big part of it is knowing how to control it, I think, before it gets bad. Um, I could understand quite a lot how somebody who maybe isn't that used to, you know, the world of asthma and what's going on in their body and when your chest and your airway starts tightening up, you panic, which then makes it worse. Um, but I don't ever do any of that. Like, when, when it starts getting bad, you know, just go outside, lay on the floor, hands behind my head, whatever whatever I need to do. Just casually walk outside and do what you got to do. And it's absolutely the best way to do it. Oh, this sucks. Um, um, wait, I just realized I don't want this to break. No, shit. It's broken. I mean, exercise is a bad one for me. If I exercise and I haven't taken that inhaler before, my lungs get real bad. Even though they're the strongest they've been in a long time. My lungs get real bad. I don't need XP. Bollocks. Uh, a friend of mine died from his asthma attack. You don't have his meds close to him. Uh, well, you know the rest. I carry it everywhere I go. Like, even though I've not had one in ages, I always, always take it with me. No matter what. Fire mess my ch uh, messes my chest up as well. Yeah, if I breathe in, like, fire smoke. Yeah, that doesn't tend to go down too well. Right, we just need XP at the moment. Do I use throne? No. No, no, no. We were talking about this the other day, actually. Oh, I don't even know what the powder is, Kaz. Hi, by the way. How are you, Kaz? Hope you're doing well. Pretty much, Liam. Pretty much. Cigarette smoke. I hate the smell of cigarette smoke. Which is weird because I hate the smell of cigarette smoke, but I love a cigar. So good. Oh. God. Now nah, we need to go back to London. <laughs> we need to go back to London on that balcony. It's starting again with the Miller and Carter cards. We'll have to go, Matt. I've, I got a load for um, my birthday. I got a load for my birthday. I think I've got like 50 pounds worth of vouchers. Might even be more than that. You got to leave work early. That's a result. Okay? Yeah, 50 pounds. Oh, happy days. There you go. That'll... Uh, That'll be used at Insomnia, that I think. Yeah. Will she use that up at Insomnia? I think I had 50. It's somewhere over here. I'm not very good at putting stuff. 
Uh. Oh, we've got 75! Well, hey! Fantastic! Get in there! We've got 75! And then I've got, uh... What's this? And I've got one that can be used at Five Guys, Nando's, Zizzy. Chiquitos, which is banging. I've not been there in ages. Frankie and Benny's. Yo Sushi. Pizza Express. I don't know how much is on that. Oh. 20. Happy days. So we've got, we've got Miller and Carter vouchers back. We've got Nando's vouchers. Insomnia is looking a lot cheaper. No, this is two. This is two. What we'll have to do, Matt, is go... We'll have to go to Miller's one night. With your voucher. And then go the next night with my voucher. <laughs> Oh. oh god, we're full on flesh here. Oh, the steak. I fail to see an issue with this plan. If you can highlight one, you're more than welcome to do so. Well, that's one option. The other option is just to do an enormous feast of just everything. Challenge. I've already done one of those. I don't plan on doing another. Like, words actually do not, cannot describe how full I was that day. I think Matt was there, actually. You might even remember. He might even remember. It's funny you sweating over chips. So what had happened was, for a little bit of a backstory for everybody, I can't believe I've got 75 pounds worth of millers back. I thought it was only 50. Boom. Um, for those that don't know, I'll tell the story. So, Miller and Carter's, for those who doesn't, don't know what that is, is a steakhouse in the UK, right? It's a steakhouse chain. They do... It's, it's a, it's a middle-of-the-market sort of steakhouse, right? It's not too fancy. It's also not, like... Low, it's not, like, low-quality. It's sort of middle-of-the-road. And on the menu, and this will sound amazing to some people... On the menu was a, I think it was in ounces. I think it was a 26 ounce tomahawk. I believe it was a 26 ounce tomahawk. Which came with two buckets of chips, buckets, and beef dripping sauce. And we were out for a meal, me, Matt, a few others. And Slowpoke. And Slow said to me, he said, Button, 
If you order that, it costs 60 pounds. This is like 80 dollars. He's like, if you order that, if you finish it, I'll pay for it. But if you don't, you pay for it. And I like a bit of a challenge. I like a little bit of a challenge. So I was like, all right, then. Done. So I ordered this thing. And it came. But it wasn't a win-win situation because I didn't want to spend 60. I think it was 67 pounds or something on, on the menu. I didn't want to spend that kind of money on food, on one meal. That's just crazy. So in my brain, being the competitive person that I am, the only option was to win, right? There was no alternative. No matter what, I had to win. Even if it killed me. So this steak comes out. And it's pretty big. It, it, it's pretty damn big. And I'm thinking, ooh. Ooh. Oh dear. Uh, and I've got a picture of it. Which I will show you. I need 20 levels. We need 20 levels and we're, and we're ready to rumble. While the mobs build up over here, I'll pull up a picture of this steak. Don't get me wrong, it was absolutely delicious. But the only way I can describe how full I was, I got down to the chips. I'd eaten the steak, I got down to the chips. Sometimes you feel full and you're like up to here, you're like, oh, I can't eat anymore. But this was like, this was like at the back of my mouth, which I've never, I've never ever felt that full before in my life. This was at, like, the back of my mouth, right? I'm like, oh, shit. And, uh, I could barely walk. I thought I was going to throw up. It was that bad. Annoyingly, the buckets of chips aren't on there. Oh, me and Kev. Me and Kev. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Where would it be from? It was a few years ago now. What are we sitting on here? 2017. No, it wasn't 2017. What was this? 2018? Oh, this is that Twitch event. Oh, shit. Why is he posting this? Oh, it's because they kept serving me dairy. That's right. Where is this picture? It wasn't... To ah, here it is. Here it is. So here is my steak. Oh, God, I can smash a steak. So that was my steak. And then in front of it at the table here, there was two buckets of chip. How can I... I can't explain how big these buckets were. But they were, they were pretty large. At the time, I wasn't a big man like I am now. Obviously, nowadays, I'm a, I'm a bit of a unit. I was a scrawny guy. I didn't have a beard. This was in 2019. This is five years ago. So I had to eat all of this and two bugs of chips. It was like 67 pounds. And if I ate all of it, slow would pay. It's 65. By the end of it, this is what I looked like. <laughs> and when I say I was struggling, I, I was seriously in trouble. I was in serious trouble. And, uh... I was literally like... I, it was bad. But I got through it, and I got a lovely free dinner. But that was what I went through. That is Little Button. That is indeed Little Button. How much XP did I say I needed? I don't remember how much I said I wanted, though. Is it 21? Okay. Slow didn't even mind paying after the entertainment you tried to finish it. I got down to the last chip. I had to ask for another beef dripping sauce because I couldn't do it without it. I couldn't eat one chip at a time. It wasn't like that. 
The only way to do it. I couldn't even eat one chip at a time. I just couldn't do it. I was like, this is, I'm not going to make it. I had like 10 chips left. I couldn't even eat one chip at a time. So I got all of them in like pinches. I did two big pinches of like five. Just got it in and got it down. And oh my God. It was, it was rough. It was pretty brutal. But I'll take a free steak out of that. Fantastic. So now me and Matt are going to do it all over again. And this is on there. With no slow because he's not coming because he hates us. I felt awful for a good like three hours. Like, for three hours, I just felt so full and bloated. Like, when I tell you it was, like, up here, I could feel the fullness up to here. It was it was awful. I could barely walk. I stumbled back to the BOT slowly with everybody. And I was sat just going... <sighs> for, like, two or three hours. It was rough. But the fact of the matter was, I won. And that's all I cared about. As long as I beat slow, I didn't care. He challenged me. So I had no choice but to win. And anyone that knows me knows you never ever take a bet with me. Never take a bet with me because you will lose. I don't take bets that I have risks of losing. I'll take slow's place but won't be paying. No, I don't blame you. Don't blame you. You're welcome to come in. You're all welcome to come Um, well, have a good laugh. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. Matt's like, bloody button. Inviting people to our meals. Bloody button. No, he's definitely, he's, de he's definitely not. He's like, but it's him. We love him. <laughs> uh, right. And he just like carrying this, um, this shulker box around, to be honest with you. Can we dye this a different color? We went with red last time, didn't we? Red. Let's go with blue. Blue's nice. I need to stop talking about insomnia, man. I'm so fucking excited. I just love that event. I know it's not for everybody. I know it's Birmingham. I hate Birmingham, but... just It's just the vibes, man. They're so good. You get there. You, everybody meets. You parks up in the car park, and they meet at Weatherspoons. And you sit down at a table with everybody and you're like, ah, we're here. It begins. And you have a beer. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I'm getting giddy thinking about this. I'm getting giddy. And you, and you sit down and then uh, you have a beer. And it's just that, ah, oh, this is going to be a good event. Oh, I can't wait for that feeling. Uh, I got a question about the old super smelter. How did you get the smelted items out of the furnaces and into the water channel things? Uh, it was hoppers into a dispenser with a uh, hoppers into a dropper with observers on it. So tempted to pay for the tickets on my card so I can sort it out. I mean, you're gonna pay it off, and I don't see why it matters. Just don't get carried away thinking. That you have an extra couple of hundred pounds this month when you don't. Button, you came up here to get fucking gunpowder, you bellend. You know the fiance were in London this summer. Fun trip. London is a is a good place for for a day. It is a great place. I get paid in eleven days, so not too long to wait. As long as it's not going to put you in trouble for those 11 days, then uh, I would say knock yourself out. Man, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Fuck yes. It's obviously so good. This is all Matt's fault. Matt started talking about Miller and Carters. Which actually, by the rules of the channel, means that he must buy every single person that he's made hungry a Miller and Carters. 
<gasps> Chat, if you currently fancy a steak. If you have finally... Or if, you, if you're sat there and you are now hungry for a steak... Please raise your hand in the chat as Matt now owes every single person in the channel a steak. It is the rules, the royal and ancient rules of the channel. I don't make the rules, Matt. I'm sorry. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 steaks. That's not that bad, right? 15 steaks. 16 steaks. What is it? Like 35 pounds for a ribeye times that by 16. It's only 560 pounds, man. Don't be tight. <laughs> 17 steaks. Uh, can you have alcohol instead? Kaz, you're such an alky. You're such an alky. I need this pickaxe to break, but I can't bring myself to throw it away. Um, okay, the next step. I still haven't opened my black barrel yet. I need to find an excuse to open that and have a whiskey. But you can't drink before you go to the gym. That's You, know, you can't do that. It's only 560 pounds. Do you, have you seen the size of Matt's hype trains he's had this month? <laughs> You'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Um, you can always amend the punishment from the hype train war um, and di and die like a king for the weekend on Matt's card. Do you know, it doesn't sound like uh, a horrendous plan. I think what we should do, just for this month, whoever wins this month pays for the Millers at Insomnia. I think that is a very good... Uh, I think that's a good idea. Chat, what do we what do we reckon? Whoever wins the hype train challenge this month pays for the Miller and Carters next month uh, for insomnia. What do we reckon, chat? Um. Oh, would you look at that? It's Matt who's in the lead at level eighteen. Wow, I, we're not gonna beat that. <laughs> But I do win, bitch. I win free steak. To be fair, I did say if we beat Matt's train, I'll wear a bald cap for a week. That's how confident I am in not beating it. Um, why Miller got a not TwitchCon? Well, I mean, well, I mean that. <laughs> I I don't see why the rules can't be include both. Right. Um. So what did we finish off by doing? We got mending. We got the elitras because we wanted to travel a bit better. Right. We need to this. We need to start planning what we're going to be doing here. I need a nice enchanting room, which I'd like to do before it becomes irrelevant. Um, the problem is I don't have the floor complete. So I don't know where we're going to do it. We've got the bedroom up here, which all looks good. The roof looks good. We need a basement to the base. Um, I wouldn't mind putting some vines on here somewhere, somewhere but. Hmm. We need a basement for the base. I uh, may I ask what the assortment of blocks on the floor is. This is the sub floor, M dot. So every time somebody subscribes, if you gift subs, so if you give five subs, you get five blocks. Uh, ten subs, ten blocks, etc. Uh, and every time somebody cheers five hundred bits, same thing. Two thousand bits, four blocks. Five thousand bits, ten blocks. Uh, you can choose some blocks to go in the floor. Uh, and this is going to be the sub floor, which. By the time it's all complete, we'll be a complete mess, but we have decided to let the chat choose the floor. Uh, which, as you can see, we've got dead coral here. We've got diamonds, pistons. There's all sorts going in the subfloor. So, uh, we're on the way. The subfloor does need to be completed pretty soon. Because I need to figure out where the floor's going to end. Um, we, need, we do need a storage room. I need to think of priorities here. Why is he get a beacon? Well, we can't use beacons because it's diamond-only beacons in this world. Diamond-only beacons. Um, the question is, where do I want to put the basement? Mm. 
that. Where do we want to put the basement? Kind of wouldn't mind putting it under here. This hill is kind of annoying. Um, the first floor being this floor. Well, I was going to do it underground because I wanted it to be all dark and gloomy and have like a bit of like mysticalness about it. Crying obsidian in there, dripping purple stuff. I don't think we could make it all dark and gloomy up here. Hi, Illusion. How are you, mate? Basement for the potion and enchanting room. Iron farm. And then a sorcery. An auto sorcery is more of a priority than an iron farm, for sure. Do we have it go back this way, though? Like, do we have it going down like this? Or do we have it going down like this? Maybe we have it go down like this. I like this will work. We can block that off. Oh my god, I'm actually so gassed for something. What the hell? I can't stop thinking about it. I'm so excited to sit in that weather spoons and have that first beer with everybody. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, doing good, RC. How are you, mate? Yeah, this is not great. First beer will happen to dry January. What? Coffee, get out of it. How about this? What happened to dry Godfeed? See what I did. Uh, something like that. I barely drink such. Oh, punch through, Jack, you tip. You barely drink such as you most of the time. So, Godfrey, we're never... What you're saying is we will never, ever share a beer together. Not that I would share my beer with anybody, but you know what I mean. Have a beer together. You don't like beer. How about a Coke? Hell yeah, <laughs> I'm in. Game. Uh, sure. What's like an American saying that they would say when they're getting drunk? And his name is Matrix. No, not that. <laughs> the timing of that was fucking brilliant. Jimmy, thank you for the thousand bits. <laughs> the timing of that was brilliant. What would they say? And his name is Nadrixes. Thank you for the thousand bits. Wait, Jimmy, you get to choose two blocks for the floor, pal. Please choose two of the finest blocks to go in the floor. Also, take us 1,231 away from the bit gold of the stream. Can you get waxed copper blocks? What the hell is a waxed copper block? I don't even know what that is. You may have to uh, let me know what that is, mate. Is it easy enough to get?
Oh, it's not and easy. His name is Hooray! Fun loose. Hooray! It's not easy to get. Boom. Also, three oak leaves, oh, please. We have those. We can totally do that for you, mate. Um, Reese with the C with the fifteen under bits, hitting the bit goal of the stream. Button woos, button yays, button hoorays in the chat. Boom. We can absolutely do that for you, Reese. Uh, let's update the streak, though, first of all, as we approach 75. What? There it is. There it is. 75 streams in a row. This fucking guitar lead is not in a very good place right now. Go away. Oh. So I need two copper blocks. Yeah, we can actually do this. Um, party with a hundred bits, triggering a hype trade. Oh, the board. We're coming for Matt, boys. We're coming for him. This is it. It's on. It's on. We are coming for Matt, baby. <laughs> 16 levels to go. <laughs> Matt will never see this coming. Uh, what did he want? Three oak leaves. Level 19, all right. Imagine. And then I had to wear a fucking bald cap for a week. Ugh. That'd be so embarrassing. Kev, thank you for the 100 bits. SD Jelana with 100 bits. Thank you so much, guys. Very much appreciated. We're good. So if I do this... Oh, yeah. Wax copper blocks. Jimmy, we got you, pal. Thank you all for the support. On a hype train right now. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, guys. Uh, well, I need to go this way. So let's put one here. And one there. There you are, Jimmy. Thank you so much for the support, pal. Uh, Reese with air conditioning. Let's get you in here as well, mate. One oak leaf. Two oak leaf. Uh, this side's a bit quiet. Three oak leaves. There you are, mate. Thank you for your support. Welcome to the subfloor. Normally, I don't catch the streams live. Always watch the mods. Um, I work too much back to work. Again. No worries, Jimmy. Always good to see you, pal. Take care, mate. Thank you again for the support. What a legend. Thank you. Ginger, thank you for the five months. Welcome Can back. Can I get a lime green wool block? Lime green wool? Uh, I don't have any cactus, mate. So unfortunately, not. I don't have any cactus to make lime die. Uh, so we can't do that, unfortunately. None of this makes green die either, which is a joke. Greetings Yara. from Aruko Fenland. 68. Lines. Almost the 69. Thank you so much, pal. Gara, please choose a block for the floor. And take us to level 3 on the train. Unfortunately, Ginger, I can't do lime green or green. Purple. Yes, we can. We can do purple for you, mate. That, that can be done. Uh, do I have a wool? Yes. What's that? Oh, it's concrete. We'll get you in there, mate. Thank you so much. Cooking the cucumbers doesn't work. The desert's miles away. Uh, boom! We need some purple there. There it is. Welcome, mate. Blue glazed terracotta. We have that. Oh, I need to do the torch holders on that wall. Oh, fuck, man. I need to do so much shit. I can fly, but not down that stupid tunnel I've got in the nether. I'll kill myself. I'm not dying over a fucking cactus. I've already done that before. Uh, blue, did you say? Blue glazed terracotta. Okay. Get it in there. There's a lot of limitations. Of course there is. I can't spend the whole stream just going around getting blocks. Boom! Oh, no, there's one there. We can't put that too close. Boom! There it is. That's better. There it is, Gar. Enjoy, mate. Thank you so much. Smell a pickle for lime. Oh, does that work? Oh, it's too late now. But that's good to know for the future. Good to know for the future. Here I am! Bum, bum, bum. I need slabs. I have torches. I need slabs and item frames. Ah. 
Item frames, item frames. Item frames. Item frames, item frames, item frames, item frames. So have you decided have you decided what the next project is? Uh, is it this basement area? Well, I want to get an enchanting room done before I um uh, before I I'm having a brain fart. Before I don't need it anymore and it's irrelevant. Um, because once everything's enchanted and upgraded, you don't actually need anything. So I want to get an enchanting room up and looking cool before it's made irrelevant. Um, and then we've got to do a storage area. But I'll probably have two sides to this. This is probably going to come down. Like it currently is. And then it'll flatten out and go left and right. That's probably what we'll do. Brandon! That is a second Twitch baby there, mate. Holy shit. Thank you so much, my dude. Welcome. Me saying holy shit then, for some reason, reminded me of that TikToker that does the, um... He does how many of a random item will hold my weight. <laughs> and he's got this pull-up bar that's between these two doors of a, of a cupboard. And he'll be like... How many sheets of toilet paper could hold my weight? And he'll put one sheet over and it'll just rip and it'll fall on the floor. Then it'll do five, ten. Yeah, that guy. It says Gaze and Lettleman. Yeah, that. Oh, man. <laughs> he did it with um, bags of glitter the other day. So how many bags of glitter will take my body weight? Oh, man. He's a funny guy, to be fair. He sometimes does succeed. He's like, holy shit. And then he tries to do a pull up with it and it breaks and he falls. I'm surprised he's not had a bad injury yet. 17 seconds left on the train. Salute that shit, boys. It is leaving. I'm glad somebody else knows who I'm talking about here. Let me see if I can find it. Two. How many crackers can hold me? One cracker. Two crackers. Three crackers. Five crackers. It's so Ten stupid. crackers. Twenty crackers. Thirty crackers. This is such a stupid fucking idea. Forty crackers. Fifty crackers. <laughs> 60 crackers. <laughs> 75 crackers. <laughs> 100 so crackers. 120 <laughs> crackers. 200 crackers. For gits and shiggles, this is all I have left. This is 14 crackers. I love it. I love it. Look at the mess. JD's Look at the mess at the end of it. Oh, God. It's so funny. And he, he just does it with all sorts of shit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to how many chopsticks can hold me? One chopstick. Five chopsticks. Ow, my fucking knee, dude. Fuck. Ow. Motherfucker. Ten chopsticks. Holy shit. Look at that. <laughs> it's fucking holding me. Ten fucking chopsticks. Yeah. Eleven chopsticks. <laughs> Eleven's got me too. Never mind. Twelve chopsticks. Oh yeah, it's got me. Twelve chopsticks. He just got his ball held on by duct tape. Alright, so cool. twelve chopsticks works. Um, I think this is the first time I've actually seen how many it takes instead of falling before, but twelve. Well, Jays and gentlemen. <laughs> it's so dumb, but it's just funny. 
It's so stupid, but it, you, you have to smile. And he does loads of them. He does like CDs. The bags of glitter was just fucking terrible. You can go on his thing. You can just look at how many how many he does. He does loads of different things. He's made a fortune from it. To be fair, you gotta you gotta respect it. Uh. Um, I feel like uh, bookshelves might be really fucking generic, you know. How many books do I have? Let's just see what happens here. We do still do fishing streams, GDS. Yeah. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, when the weather heats up, we will do more of them. No, we absolutely still do fishing streams. Hmm. Something like this is fine. I haven't even had a chance to go fishing myself yet, let alone go fishing on stream. It's been too busy. Um, I don't even ever want to use those. Uh, we will up until that point, actually. We need a crafting table. Luckily, somebody chose that as an item in the floor. Shout out to that person. A mob spawning thing behind here? Yeah. I might have done. Fixed. Thank you. Am I having a good day? Um, yeah. That's it. Yep. I'm alive. So that's something. I would say if I'm alive, that is uh, not a bad way to spend the day. I really want to get some wax for candles. I feel like that would, well, that would really amplify this if we had something like that. How many days are we in? Uh, 260. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy yet. We've got a long way to go. I'm trying to think what I want to do with this. I wouldn't want... <sighs> Fuck, man. I don't even know. Hold on. Let me come up here. Um... Hey up. Hey up. I wouldn't mind putting like candles and shit up here. I don't know, man. A secret room's not a bad idea. Whack a big old painting or something there you can walk through. What the hell would we put in there, though? <laughs> you can't have a bad day when you're dead. <laughs> That is such a morbid comment. How do I make a candle? You do need wax. You're looking for a 260... Level 260 for mutations and art. Holy shit. 
I don't even remember what level me and Matt would get, got up to of our mobs. We had, we had a sick world going, actually, me and Matt. No, that's what we need to do, though. We need to build a factory, a slaughterhouse. That's what we need to build. For all these terrible mobs that Mojan keep adding to the game. We need a slaughterhouse added to the game. Uh, a slaughterhouse build. That seems like a good plan. Harsh. No. Armadillos are... Sh I refuse to believe. Refuse to believe that the Minecraft community voted for an armadillo over a penguin. It's absolute twaddle. Over a penguin or a crab. The community allegedly voted armadillo. It's absolute waffle. Anyone that believes that shit. I don't know what to tell you. There is not a chance in hell people voted armadillo over a penguin or a crab. Crab had a logical function. Penguins, not really, but they're just cool. And an arm, an arm just doesn't do anything. I, I just don't. Fuck, I'm going to rant. Don't make me rant. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. A rant is brewing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, an armadillo's fucking dog armor. Who the fuck cares? No one takes their dog out for walks in Minecraft. Nobody does that. They, do they get a dog, it sits in their base, and it stays there for 10 years. That's the reality of the situation. I don't believe that kids were smart enough to pick an armadillo so they can have armor for their dogs. I don't believe it. There's Twaddle. Yeah, exactly, Nightwolf. I'm glad Nightwolf... Me and Nightwolf have been seeing eye to eye recently. He gets it. It's bollocks, mate. It's absolute bollocks. Nobody gives a flying fuck about taking their dog places. Nobody nobody walks their dog anywhere. I'm actually livid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick off. Nightwolf, you're I need to stop because I'm actually furious. I'm pissed. Let anybody, anybody tell I'm fucking livid right now. I mean, the armadillo, I will concede, is better than a fucking sniffer. I don't, whoever came up with the idea of a sniffer needs to be fired. Straight up. I just don't get it. I, I don't understand the direction they're trying to take the game. If anybody does, please feel free to explain it to me, because I certainly don't. Genuinely, whoever came up with the idea of a sniffer literally needs to be fired. Like, I'm not even joking. Hi, chicken. How are you, mate? I think all of our bees have left the hive. Kind of sad about that. It doesn't make... Oh, God. I'm actually fuming. What was that hive I saw? I saw a hive earlier. Was it up here? It wasn't, but there are a couple over here. I don't know if they'll have any honey in. Oh, the bees got angry and then... Whoa! Holy crap! You can take from a hive as long as it's raining because the bees can't fly in the rain. 
Wait, do bees take damage if they're in the rain? That's actually kind of cool. Another. Oh wait, that one's out. Shit! What the hell? That worked two seconds ago. I need these guys to be unangry and then go back in their hide. That literally just worked. Oh, unless this is a dry biome. No, this is cherry. No, it's not cherry. Oh, shit. They got unangry to be over here. Okay, you in, you in. Come on, mate. Back to the hive. Back to the hive. There we go. I don't know why that worked and then stopped working. It was kind of annoying. I don't understand why the first time I did it, the bees came out and immediately went back in. No, we will make a sniffer killing machine. I never even made a sniffer in the last world. I think I got an egg to make to, for ready for the sniffer breeding and killing machine, but we just never made it. Don't think I've forgotten, though. Every sniffer will die. Every single one. I've got to do detailing for all this as well. We have so much to do, man. I haven't, like, this has no texture. This sucks, man. Bit of a cold. Oh, no. You haven't got man, Bloomy Chicken. Have you got man, Blue? Boys. Fellow men of the chat, please salute Chicken. This may be the last time he's with us in the channel. He had a good run. Oh, he has a contracted man flu. Okay, never mind. Panic over. I thought he had man flu for a second then. That actually looks kind of sick. I kind of want to carry that along the whole top of this. This is quite a boring wall. Oh, but this is the outside. I mean, we're never going to go around the back there, so no one's ever going to see it. Side note, by the way, thank you for the follows, chat. Appreciate it. If you are new out there, give the follow button a tickle for us. Give it a little tickle. Why not? Picture of the torch is a great idea. Thank you, mate. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm going to. It is one of the oldest tricks in the book. <laughs> I know that you can make mossy brick stairs. Is that a thing? Is that a th If that's a thing, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm fairly certain that doesn't exist. But I could be mistaken. Button, if you fall off this fucking ledge one more friggin' time, I swear to God, you're retiring from streaming forever. Right. That was an empty threat. I want everybody to know that. Um. No, I didn't think mossy stairs were a thing. You're talking bollocks. Okay. 
The wiki shows mossy stairs? We can take a look. Thank you, chat. I don't think they exist. Let's have a look. Oh, shit. They totally do exist. I knew this. I out of crap once. Brother. Of course they exist. They've existed ever since that friggin' um, what's it called? Stone cutter came into the game. That is what we call a poogers, if I've ever seen one. Poogers in the chat, boys. Wait, the next question is, I'm now gonna, fuck, I'm now gonna have to change up here because this has all got, I oh, know this isn't, I oh, know that stairs. We can change a couple. They also have tough stairs now, too. I was wanting to know something. Million golf. This is my reaction when Holes announces that tough stairs and variants exist. So she announces it. Uh, my name's Richard Hamden. I've taken up golf recently. This I've is been her announcing lessons. it. This is my reaction. Oh dear. How many people here, chat, are excited for tough stairs and block variations? Yay. What? There are actually people here excited for that. Are you mad? Well, Holes, I take it back. There are people genuinely excited for the tough stairs and block variations. Wow, she calls me a poop head. That's fucked up. It didn't even get personal randomly. That's just that's just out of order. <laughs> Fail. That's actually gonna look quite cool when it's done. I need more candles. Well, I don't get the idea because you failed, Tonzo. There'll be no text to speech for you, friend. You didn't put a space after the cheer 200. That's why. <laughs> if you'd put a space after it, it would have worked. Um, how is golf going? I've not played in a while, mate. I've, um... I'm not at time, to be honest with you. And if I want to play, I have to play in the morning. And I can't be arsed to get up in the cold. There's nothing exciting about getting it up in the cold on a gloomy winter's morning. I'd much rather wait till the, s the summer. When I met you in the summer. Something, something, something. There's a beehive over here. I remember that. Uh. Nope, apparently I don't remember that. I need to find a flower forest, I think. I think that's what I need. No, we're not sidetracking to a bee farm. That, that's, that's not going to be happening. What we will do, though, is go back to the old bees. 
I don't know where that hive was. I definitely saw a hive, like, sort of nearby. No clue. Let's go back to these two that are over here. And we'll let the bees operate for a second. Oh, what's this one? Like that. They came out and then went straight back in. I want to create a contraption that damages armadillos, but barely keeps them alive just to spite them that we could have had penguins. No, I will be implementing a full, um, a fully operational slaughterhouse, uh, which will go through and murder. Uh, it will have two arm armadillos continuously breeding forever for an infinite amount of time. Uh, and their babies will drop down onto some sort of conveyor that will gradually push them along into a lava pit of death where they will be incinerated sending a message to Moyang to stop adding shit mobs to the game. That's the plan. Rabbit! Come here, you little bastard. Alright. Don't let my missus see that. She'll be very upset. Oh, there's another one! Yeah, if the missus sees that, I'm in big trouble. She loves rabbits. No, I hate armadillos, but I hate sniffers more. They're even more stupid. Right, can we uh, start generating some honey, please? I'm assuming you guys are sniffing these flowers and getting pollen from them. Yes. Oh, that guy was actually getting from the leaves. Yeah. These guys over here are working away, which is good. We've got three opportunities for honey here, which is good. Oh, sugar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, honey, honey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You are my candy girl. And you got me wanting you. You need a campfire? I don't need anything. Campfires suck. Where did that other bee go? Why did he just fly up over here? Go back to your hive and do some work. We have 12, which is four lots. I think we probably need another three. Ugh. I'm tired, man. I went to bed at three o'clock last night. I was up working until half past two. How crazy is that? That is commitment to the stream, is what that is. Dog! Let me go get an armadillo and give you some armor that you'll never use. Fuck you, dog. That's what I thought. All right, bees, how are we getting on? Surely we can't be far away from some honey here. While we wait for these bees to finish up with their... Ah! While we wait for these bees to finish up with their honey, chat, how's your day been? What you been up to? No, the armadillos are the next up, I believe. How's life? Oh, that's life. Well, we appear to have some honey. A machine learning exam that you barely passed. But, and there is a big but. You did. Yeah, these hives are bugged. I, I actually love it. It's brilliant. Okay, if you could just pollinate your butt and get in there, that'd be great. Or just fuck off over there. Oh god! It didn't work that time! Angry bees! Angry bees! 
Make the jump. Missed the jump. Uh oh. Now we're in trouble. Don't let the bees die. Don't let the bees die. Oh no! Wait. Now that was a skeleton. That wasn't a bee. Karma for murdering the puppy. Well, that's mean. Buddy, you're, your friends are over it. You need to get over it. Come on. Thank you. I didn't murder a puppy. The dog attacked me, so I had no choice but to murder it. Have you seriously not finished? No, I didn't kill a puppy. No. Arnold is good. Arnold really, when he gets tired, he gets very bitey. Not like angry bitey, but it's playful bites, but they're just too, bit, they're a bit too strong bites. And he really, really likes humping things. My leg being a big one. But I think he's learning slowly that I'm not interested. Because I hurl him off. He does that. Woof. Gone. He's like, oh shit. Come on. Huffa to Kitufa. Ah, shit. <laughs> well, brush over that one, folks. Do you have an egg for me, chicken? Oh, you do. Egg roulette. Ooh. Should we play a proper game of egg roulette? Would anybody here like to play a game of egg roulette? Should we play a game of egg roulette? Nah, oh, one angry bee. The others didn't care, but this guy does. I sort of need him to live. Oh god! Is he over it? Oh no, he's not. He's still pissed. Agrilet did kill. Up. Oh! Agrilet did kill me in the last world. Okay, he's good. Right, we're leaving. Let's go. We have twenty-one. That should do us. Only if you play from a high place. I will play on top of this tree. I will play from the top of that tree. How many of these do we actually need? Let's not overdo this. True, buddy. True. Wasn't as hard as Egg Roulette. It was hitting the ground that was hard. True. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. A bosh. You've not seen Egg Roulette? Well, we should probably introduce you. Chat, I do have some eggs in my chest. I... I'm down to play some egg roulette. Now, the way egg roulette works. Oh, I can't afford this. The way egg roulette works is I will launch an egg high into the sky. When it comes down, if it lands and spawns a baby chicken, I will gift five subs to the chat. And if anybody else wants a little bit of a bet and a little gamble for a bit of fun, you're welcome to join. You are welcome to join. And we should play some egg roulette. They actually do look quite cool. I'm, I'm, I'm semi-happy with that. Although I feel these torches are too high now. I need to be moved down one. Oh, no. Everything else is that high. Maybe it's fine. I need to do a design of the roof to light up under here as well.
Do it for ground level. Well, it depends if I'm prepared to meet Godfeed's terms of playing it from a high place, which I said on top of the tree. So it's his, it's his decision. No, you don't, Bruce, you don't have to. Just for a bit of fun, if anybody would like a bit of fun. I am going to play Egg Roulette for the chat. Here we go. So I will take this egg. No, not that one. That's a dud. Oh! Shit! I was going to say not that one. It's a dud. Well, this one's not going to spawn it now. <laughs> this isn't going to spawn a chicken now. Fuck. I will take this egg and I will launch it high into the sky. I was going to say that first one was a dud. I was wrong. This isn't going to spawn shit now. <laughs> we'll play it anyway. I will gift five subs. If it spawns a baby chicken, if anybody else wants to join, you're welcome to do so. Tony's doing 25 subs of chicken again. Should be confident after that shit. So there's 30 subs on the line. If it spawns four, I'll give 20 subs. Yeah. If there's a chicken, I'll go. Oh, thank you, God. You don't actually have to do that, mate. It's okay. But I appreciate it. Here we go. There's 25, 30, maybe 35 subs on the line. Oh, let's play. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting excited for it. It's not going to spawn shit after that. <laughs> let's play Egg Roulette. It was never happening. I'm fuming. I bet this one spawns one. Okay, thank God for that. What about this one? You little bastard. This one? No. We should have done it with the first egg. Sorry, subs. Sorry, non-subs. I tried, and I, fuck I, I fucked you guys over, essentially. I didn't mean to. It was an unintentional fucking, which is never good. Um, right, I need some spruce stairs. That's oak stairs. Oh, I feel bad because I don't know because these are oak stairs and I feel like <sighs> We've used oak stairs here and I feel like if I use spruce here, it's not gonna match and then people are gonna be pissed off What do I do? It's fine. It actually is fine. It is a cellar, yeah. That's a very good point. It can be darker. I don't know how deep I want to go with this, though. This is just temporary torching. Chat, I really want to eat some shit food today. But I know I shouldn't. So I need somebody to talk me out of it. Yeah, we don't want that pick. We deliberately don't break. It's all good. Like, I really have an itch to eat some shit food. Like a fat KFC. But I know I'll feel terrible for it. Or even like a kebab. A kebab would go down a friggin' treat right now. This is too deep. A kebab would go down an absolute treat. I can't do it because I know I'll feel terrible after I've eaten it. I had a Domino's on Friday. I treated myself. I found a life hack for shit food uh, button. Have shit food as once as a once in a while treat. Just don't eat 10 kilos of the stuff and that way you won't feel minging afterwards. Define once in a while. Like, how often is once in a while? I 
Like, how often are we talking here for once in a while? Like, we're talking once a week, once a month, a couple times a week. You understand the problem? Less than you used to when it was too much. That doesn't help! Here's the problem. The problem is, the shit food tastes nice. Even though it's full of oil and crap, shit food just tastes so freaking good. It's almost as good as that feeling when Miss Chelstastic comes into the channel. Boom! Hi, Miss Chelstastic. How are you? Lovely to see you, as always. Hope you're doing well. Everyone best behavior, yes. Zip your pants up. Put everything that shouldn't be out away. You can cook a steak, uh, so it's not shit food. True. I made spaghetti and meatballs um, a couple days ago. Smash it out of the park. I got for the, for the first attempt, I smashed it out of the park. I got an eight out of ten from the other half, which I was stoked about. Doing good. How's it going? It's going very well. Thank you, Mr. Stassi. It's going very well indeed. Remarkably well. Oh, to get some detail in that here. That's a good idea. I can't believe Mossy says exist and cracked doesn't. That's honestly stupid. Make some kebab in an air fryer. Has anybody here tried that and can confirm? Was your face when I was suggested it, but it was surprised. What makes it so good being in an air fryer? Uh, what is the, what's the wow factor of it? Is it like the fact it's not oily? Is it like super tender? Is it just dry as fuck? Which is what I think it would be. Like the whole point of having a kebab is that you can feel your arteries blocking up as you eat it, right? If your arteries aren't clogging up as you're eating it and you can't physically feel that process, is there any point in having a kebab? That's the question. You get the taste, but not the clogging. But if I don't eat a kebab and it takes off at least a week of my life, then there's no point in uh, eating it. Stay! 
snake in an air fry. You've lost me. You've lost me. I'm gone. I'm literally gone. I've logged out. I've absolutely logged out. I cannot believe this has just been suggested. I can't believe it. I'm out of here. No a cigar. Logged out. Signing off. I did have a pancake. I had two pancakes this week. Um, chat, I need to come up with a floor for there. What should we make the floor out of? Chicken, I can understand. It's more so than steak. Steak, you've got to get that sear. You've got to get that juice. You've got to get that control of the cooking. An air fryer, once it's in there, you can't do anything with it. If it's in a pan, you can render down fat on the side. You can, you know. Did you have pancakes yesterday? That means no takeaway for you for a week. How does that work? It's fucking pancake day. No, 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 no. You can't include pancake day in the takeaway section. Pancake day is its own special day that everybody enjoys, right? You can't go, oh, I've had pancakes this week. I can't have fast food like I usually would have once a week because, you know, I've had pancakes. It's pancake day. It's literally the point. That's like steak and blowjob day coming around, and then you go, well, I can't have a blowjob for the next week or two because steak and blowjob, steak and blowjob day happened. Like, yeah, it happened, but that's just a part of the week. Like, it doesn't... You didn't decide to have two that week. That just happened to pop up, and it's a day that you must abide by. You understand? My jaw still hurts from last year. Uh, cobble. I need mossy of you. Chewy steak. You had a bad steak. You must have air fried it. Poor guy. The air fryer is a magical cauldron where you throw stuff in and hope for the best. I'm trying to think right now of one thing that I've ever eaten that was improved by going in an air fryer. Yeah, maybe like small like potato balls. Chips are not improved by going in an air fryer. Maybe like little like tater tot things. Yeah, maybe those. But that's probably it. No, see, you say that Night Wolf, but that, that's an inexperienced way. You, immediately, I know you haven't got a lot of experience in that field. Because a steak is a very vague description. Different cuts should be cooked in different ways. So, straight away, just saying everything should be blue is just wrong. I'm sorry. It's just wrong. Chips get soggy or burnt. Now, I don't think we're going to have many people on side here, but soggy chips are superior to crunchy chips. I said it. But at least you have to argue with air fryer steaks. Uh, they're still chewy. Yeah, I just... I just not. I would never air fry a steak. But I, I, soggy chips are superior to crunchy chips. Like when you get McDonald's and you get them out and they just flop over because they're so soggy. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely biscuits. Give me the crunch. I just can't. 
The crunch, like, I don't mind like crunchy ones. Like Burger King chips are pretty good when they got like crunch in there, but I like a soggy chip. I like a soggy chip. Am I out of crack? I think I might be. Soggy chip does not always mean hours old. Sometimes they're cooked fresh. You try when they're crunchy, but you're driving home, so you roll up the McDonald's bag. And when you roll up the McDonald's bag, all the, the heat and stuff stays inside there, and then the chips go soggy before you get home, and they are... Oh. Fuck! Now I need a McDonald's after the stream. I'm supposed to go to the gym after the stream, and now my... Oh, my intrusive thoughts are saying sack the gym off and get a McDonald's. No! It's such a bad idea because I'm going to feel like shit after. Mm, what do I do? <sighs> I know. I really want a McDonald's now as well. I don't know what to do. I know I'll regret it. I'll, as soon as I eat it, I'll feel like shit. But like, I wish I had just not had that. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. You can get everyone a small chip. So it'll be cheaper than Matt having to buy everybody a million cart of steak. Do both McDonald's and the gym. Yeah, but if I do that, then I'll have my McDonald's, go to the gym, or go to the gym and have my McDonald's, and just feel like, if it's the first way around, I'll feel shit, because I'll be like, what's the point of being here? I've already fucked up by having a McDonald's. But then if I don't, and I have it afterwards, I'll be like, well, I've just ruined my whole session at the gym anyway, so what was the point? Just think of your gut afterwards, then go and get a good salad with protein. No, no, no. Fuck the salad, man. Oh, just a mayo chicken. Oh, <laughs> Never feel good about treating myself. I, I'm trying to lose weight and I just love food. I wish I ate food, but I love food. <laughs> Food's just so good. <laughs> Right, we're making a chat vote. Chat vote. McDonald's after the stream. Yes or no? <laughs> Button chins in the chat, boys. I've not had a McDonald's in two weeks, actually. I'm voting yes, purely because you made me want one. Uh, this is what's coming. <laughs> this is what is coming. If I go to McDonald's. This is coming! <laughs> Fuck! This is actually when I wasn't even at my heaviest. This is actually about a year before I was at my heaviest. started talking about McDonald's. Somebody ban them. Because it's actually caused an enormous dilemma now. All it's done is cause issues. I think it might have been me, to be fair, but still.
I just don't know what to do. I'm actually really in two minds now. I could just... Oh, no, because I'll feel like utter crap if I sack the gym up. I'll be... I have to go to the gym regardless. You feel sick talking about food. What? I just knocked my power strip off now. No, I'm not going to sack the gym off. I'm going to the gym regardless. The only solution here is to change topics immediately. I need somebody, somebody name any topic that's nothing to do with food. Go, 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 go. Anything, 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 anything. Can't do gym McDonald's. If I do that, then I'll feel like there was no point in going to the gym. Then I'll be depressed. Politics. <laughs> so come to the dark side, button. We have cookies and McDonald's. United. Because we're about United. Bring up United. We're coming back, man. Dan Ashwell is coming to the club. I don't know what I want to do with the walls and stuff here. Gastrointestinal distress. <laughs> I'm actually crying. There's te My eyes are wet. Tears are coming out. I'm genuinely crying. This is how difficult my life has now become. The happiness of me in the future rests on this decision. Do I have any tattoos? Yes, I have a fire extinguisher next to my arsehole. You'll never know if that's actually true or not. You will never know if that is a fact or a lie. I've seen it. Blacks over the walls would look better, but we have them. We're going to do the fancy enchanting room, which will go down on this side. And then we're going to do something on the other side. But I'm... Right now, at this very moment in time, I just want to end stream and go get McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, I can't wait to be depressed. It feels going to feel great, mate. I like British, yes. Rising Phoenix, 75 month the Roonies. Wow, 75 months. Hey. That's a long time. Is. Thanks for all of the laughs. Button heart. It actually does, God be. Like, you're not even la you're, you're so accurate with that statement. British McDonald's is actually shit. I had one, I didn't have one in America, but I had one in Australia. And Australian McDonald's is how UK McDonald's used to be, and it's not anymore. Hey, Masoon, how are you, mate? There's no point asking Mason to solve the problem, because he's just going to say, go and get one. What's this? We're in a very large predicament, Mason, as to whether or not I go and get McDonald's. Because I've been smashed at the gym recently, and I'm supposed to be going to the gym after the stream. But if I go to the gym and have a McDonald's after, I'm going to feel like shit that I worked out for no reason. And if I don't have a McDonald's, it's not going to satisfy my want for McDonald's. 
Oh, I know what he's going to say. Yeah, I know what he's going to say. Oh, there it is. Fucking hell. As soon as he said, don't get McDonald's, I was like, he's not being nice. I know exactly what he's going to say. A number two. We could have a number two. Do you like a number two? I've not had a number two in ages. You in Cambridge yesterday? What a shit hole. Uh, what, like Central Cambridge? Oh, actually, I think I saw you. Hang on a second. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Let me check where you were, because I did see it. I hadn't opened it yet. Here we go. Oh, you didn't actually say where you were. By the uni. I mean, Cambridge ain't great. I've had a knife pulled on me there, so it's not it's not it's not fantastic. But uh It's a good it's a good place for day drinking to be fair. I kinda wanna use Blackstone down here. I feel like we, oh, maybe not. No, absolutely yes. If we're doing this mystical and chart room, I want a uh I want a um I, I want it to be all like dark and mystical. Let's open it up. What is an efficient way to build a staircase down four blocks out from the step? What? What is the efficient way to build a staircase down? What is the efficient way to build a staircase down is four blocks out from the step? <laughs> I go to the gym and treat myself to a pipe. I'm really doing well at the gym, and I feel like if I don't go today, I'm going to be depressed. But I, I'm going to be disappointed in myself. I don't understand the question, mate, though. I'm sorry, man. Think of the carb. I know. <sighs> Number two does sound pretty good. <laughs> oh, God. It's not going to satisfy me, man. But what if it does? I know it's not going to, but I'm just trying to convince myself that it will. If you know you're going to feel like shit, then don't do it. That's the way I see it. I know, Georgie, but this is the problem, mate. It's... I know I'm going to feel like shit. But, for the period of time, whilst I'm eating the McDonald's, I'm going to feel like the happiest person in the world. It's true, mate. It's true. I've not had one of them in a long time. But I've got to go uh, to work, have fun at the gym. <laughs> Thank you, Godfiend. See, now I feel like I'm going to let Godfiend down. Brilliant. Have a good day at work, pal. Do you have a set day of cheat day? No. Cheat day is just whenever I feel like it. Cheat day is whenever the hell I feel like it. A kebab is a healthier option than a Mackey's. It is a secret location, Venice. That's very true. Mason can't reveal that. I, wi I wish that was knowledge that could be given to the public, but it, it can't. It just can't. And no one will understand why unless you know. And the only person that knows is Mason. And a couple of others who don't come into the stream anymore. Does she? Interesting. Are you back with her? Oh, you're not. Oh. We no longer speak. Okay. But you did take her on a date, do you say? <laughs>
<laughs> you can finish the rest of that sentence off. That is, that is a hell of a date. If it's lamb, I would agree. You think a kebab is healthier? Hold on. You're trying to tell me, and I could be wrong, that this shit is healthier than a McDonald's. That is guts, kidney, stomach, liver, all, all the shit just blended up and smished together. To make a big, greasy tower of meat. Now, after 10 pints, it's probably the best thing ever. You that say that this is healthier than a McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's is... Well, I don't know. I don't know what McDonald's is. I couldn't give a fuck if it's healthy or not. <laughs> the reality is they're both bad for you. That's the reality of it. Damn it, man, you're getting me hungry. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry. You're not you're not alone if that makes you feel any better. Oh yeah! Rising Phoenix, thank you so much for the resub. Please choose a block for the sub floor. Uh, every time somebody subscribes or uh, gifts a sub or cheers 500 bits, you can pick a block for the floor. Um, it must be a full block. can't be like a half block. It can't damage me or slow me down. And it has to um, be relatively easy to get because we're quite early game. But other than that, please choose a block to go in the sub floor. It's more calories, yet somehow cleaner. A kebab is just grease and oil. I don't know if I, I agree. I don't know if I agree. I don't see how that could be healthier than a McDonald's. Doesn't add up. No, I'm not that stupid. Phantom 29. Thank you, mate. Previous message. McDonald's is sugar, E numbers, MSG, and crap. But it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is, Mason. I haven't had a full Guinness session in ages. Uh, just after Christmas was the last time I had a big Guinness session. And it's a shame that I couldn't have informed you about this, actually, Mason, before you were down my ends. There is a place down my ends that does probably the best pint of Guinness I've had since that one that I had in Waterloo in London. And, you, and it's pint after pint of just unreal Guinness. And I will sit there all day and all evening. Not this shit again. What do you mean, not this shit again? Metis, what is your problem, buddy? Piper. Say what you got to say. We're all dying to know. Happy birthday, by the way. Google's is a kebab healthier than McDonald's. Healthier foods. Healthier foods, kebab foods are healthier to a large extent. When you get McDonald's, is deep fried and seriously salted French fries and heaps of sugar. On the flip side, kebab restaurants' foods is healthier as they make use of fresh, unprocessed meat for making their foods. Unprocessed... I'm asking chat, GPT. Is a... Wait. Which is healthier? A kebab or McDonald's? 
to a chat GPT says. Holy shit, it's written me a novel. Oh, it's just telling me how to make each option healthier. You sitting here eating steak? Steak's good though. Like steak's fine. Steak is literally fine. I could have, I could eat four steaks in a row and I'll be quite happy. It literally hacks your hormones to make you feel hungrier. I actually believe that. And the reason I believe that is because every time I have a McDonald's, I never feel full. Like, the Donald's never fills me up. Hmm. I need to decide what I actually want to do here. I'm just sort of digging an area. So, I think I've gone too far this way. I don't think we need to do that. I think we could probably plonk it here. There'll be bam, bam, bookshelves all around. Then we'll have, like, the room itself actually all around. Uh, let's go get it and bring it down. You feel full for 30 minutes and have to go raid the fridge. Yeah, but Donald's doesn't fill me up at all. No, it doesn't. That'll be why, because it uses MSG. Whatever that means. But basically, who cares? Just, just eat the damn thing, you know what I If they banned MSG, I'm 100% certain obesity levels will drop naturally. How about we ban Nightwolf instead? How does that sound? All in favor of banning Nightwolf, raise your hand. Checking the chat for votes. Checking the chat for votes. I want some purple candles for this, I think. Oh, Fluffy can't wait. Right, chat, we're coming to the end of the stream. I need to make a decision. I could go and get a kebab. No, I need to just go to the gym. Just go to the gym. Just go to the gym. Go to the gym, bud. We need a lot of stuff for this. This is actually going to be a cool room when it's finished. There we go. Well, I know somebody that literally lives off McDonald's. Like, he won't eat anything unless it's McDonald's. Like, he will not eat. He doesn't like anything but McDonald's. Pretty crazy. It's pretty nuts. Babs. No, it's not Babs. It's not Babs. As we know, Babs loves a turkey leg. Do Jim decide about Mackie's afterwards? I'm actually, at the moment, I have a real big temptation just to fuck the gym off and go get some shit food and just chill out. 
I don't know if I deserve to do that though. I like earn that. I like to feel like I've earned these things. There's no way he's allowed to survive without McDonald's. This is a serious test by God on my self discipline. That's what this is. I've assessed the gravity of the situation. This is a test by God. Do what you want. Nobody else cares. It's very true. I am more than aware that nobody gives a fuck, right? But what I, all I'm asking for is opinions. I don't care what chat think whether I should go to the gym or not because I know that nobody gives a shit what I do. Nobody cares. Go to the gym first. Yes. Yes, I will. Yep, 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 yep. I've, I've done it. I've decided. I've done it. I've, the decision just got made in my brain. Right then, neurons fired and made the decision. We're going to the gym first. Then we'll decide after, because this could just be like a small little itch that will go away. Um, thank you so much for the bits, mate. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. 50 of the finest biddies, in fact. Um, does he need anything around the bat? Not really. They're never going to go around the back of this, are we? Yeah, this was a bit excessive, but this was probably ambitious. I was thinking, like, a tunnel down to the room, but... You'll always regret if you don't go to the gym first. That's so true. I know I will as well, so I'm going to take your advice. Thank you, chat. Executive decision has been made. Right. So this is sort of the shape of the room. So what I'm thinking is... Oh, we've got to sort the roof. I don't know what's going on up here. So what I'm thinking is... Blackstone sort of everywhere... Crying obsidian in the floor along with other obsidian to keep it dark. Um, maybe even some crying obsidian in like the roof and things to drip uh, purple stuff all over the place. Um, I was trying to think of like a purple vine, but we don't have one. So maybe like a, some red nether brick in there and crimson hanging from the roof. Or we could use like some of the blue ones from like a warped forest. Candles all over the place. Amethyst crystals, maybe. Well, Mr. Chips, actually, you are sort of wrong there. You say opinions like arseholes, everybody's got one. Except for the guy that drank a bottle of laxatives and super glued his asshole shut. Except for that guy. Don't ask me what happened to the guy because I don't know. Cobwebs in there. Cobwebs. The hallway behind could be like a mini library. Liberari, yes. No, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Maybe wax and bookshelves just sort of all over the place. Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
I need cry obsidian. Can you make that? No. I have one. Uh, by the way, chat, make sure you follow all the socials too. They've just popped up in the chat there. Go follow the Twitter. We always tweet. We go live. Uh, go and follow the Instagram if you're interested in my personal life. TikTok clips and skits. YouTube for bonus content. It's all on there for you. Some have, some just are. Very true. Very true. We need a lot of crime, City. Things are going well. We do need a bathroom farm. Because we made a bar in farm in the last world and then died. <laughs> right. I got to skid out on folks. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. If you're new out there, give it a follow button a tickle. Give it a tickle. Um, not a bad idea, Tracy. If you hide it away somewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, give the follow button a tickle. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Follow all the socials, like I said, um, to stay up to date when the stream goes live. Tomorrow is usually my day off, but I will be live tomorrow. We're doing a bonus stream as I'm not here on Sunday. So bonus stream tomorrow. Get pumped. Um, thank you so much for all the support today. We hit the big goal for the 72nd stream in a row, which is nuts. Tomorrow we go for 73 uh, as we approach the big 75. It's kind of crazy. So um, I don't know if anybody's live to go say hi to, but we should have a little good there. Let's have a little good there. Pearl's live. Oh, of course, Matt's not on today. Um, um, who do we want to say hello to? Uh, we raided death yesterday. We'll go inside a pearl. We love pearl. Please cover this very message chat. Go inside a pearl. She is PG. Please bear that in mind. Pearlescent moon. She is PG, so please bear that in mind. Don't go out there effort and blinding because she won't like that at all. Um, follow. I thought I gave myself a nosebleed. Follow the channel if you do. Join that raid at the top of the chat. I will see you all tomorrow at like 10 a.m. Look at your clock. Go back four hours and 18 minutes. Um, you're beautiful. You're all amazing. Uh, spam the channel of hearts on your way out. I'm going to the gym because it's the right thing to do. And um, we'll see you all over uh, in Pearl's Call of the Interweb. So uh, take care, chat. Love you all. Spam the channel of hearts. Show the love for this epic community. And until tomorrow, stay safe. Stay awesome. We'll see you next time. Peace out, guys. Bye, everybody.